in the Riverlands, the Lord Paramount House Tully is less powerful than some of their subjects. What this leads to is a really tricky power imbalance. There are 40,000 swords in the Riverlands, the largest undeclared host in the realm. House Tully is a fish with no head. Oscar is the lord in waiting to take over for old Lord Grover Tully, his grandfather, but he's a little unsure of himself. He's going through that awkward phase in his teenage years. And then he's delivered to Harren Hall to meet Damon, who's just giving them the business. Are you here to speak with your grandsire's voice for House Tully in the Riverlands? That is not our way. Then you're of no use to me. Oscar Tully is a little annoying gnat who just is in the way, he won't do what he's told. There's part of Damon that's sort of playing with him and part who really needs him. There is no way that they can challenge King's Landing without the Riverlands. Another key to the Riverlands are the phrase, Our Lord Grover Tully has not declared for Rhaenyra. Means death to bear steel against your liege. These are the kinder and gentler phrase. They, of course, control the twins, which is the famous crossing from the north into the Riverlands. And Jace, having established his pact with Craig and Stark and promising a path down to the south, goes there to treat for the crossing with the phrase. Laris Strong has been relieved of his castle. Does the queen intend to raise up a new lord? You want Taron Hall? I guess the phrase have always been tough negotiators all through time. Hopefully this negotiation goes a little better than the last one we saw. 